previously on Sheepcraft. Finally back. Hopefully I can stay back this time because I honestly don't like hiatuses. That's a spider. That's a spider. Is it gonna hurt me? Okay, no, it's not. Oh, oh yes, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. It's gonna hurt me. Oh, there's a skeleton too. I better run. No. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. No. Get out of here. I gotta go find my stuff, though. I gotta find my stuff. That that was a skeleton. You cheeky little butt. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for insulting you. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's a ravine. That is very well a ravine. Oh, no. No. I fell in. And there's a skelly. There's a skelly. Of course there is. You know what? I'm not losing to you again, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, there's a creeper. The sheep killer's already sent his kind out here to ruin this series. But hopefully you guys can see. It's pretty dark. I mean, I can see. That's fine. But I don't know about you guys. Like I said, I hope it's not- Oh! Oh, it's the creeper! It's the creeper! Think, the sheep king. Think of your ten ways to kill a creeper. Yeah, scare him off with a chicken. That's all right. I gotta shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. There we go. Yeah, got him. We're, we're good. And now we got Mr. McDuck over here ready, ready to- Ready to fend off those creepers if they ever decide to come back. Another one. Oh. I think we need to help fend off that spider, Mr. McDuck. Oh, okay, never mind, I got it. I got it. I know how to fight, too. I got I got a bow, so as long as I don't run out of arrows, I'll be just fine. And there's a zombie. There is a zombie! <laughs> got him. And now, for more sheep craft. Hello, my fellow sheeps. This is the Sheep King, and welcome back to sheep craft. It's been a long time, I think well over a year at this point. But we're finally back with this series! Yes, and off screen, I managed to get back home. And I. I have a lot of stuff. I did say I believe that I was going to do the mining on screen, but I decided to do it off screen instead, and thank goodness I did because. That was a huge cave, it turned out to be. It's time to go over all the stuff that we got. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff loads of iron, some gold, even some diamonds! Nice! We can now turn this stuff in for some wool! If you're new to this series or just don't remember, which is understandable considering how long ago it's been, I'm gonna go over the rules again now. Yeah, basically, you turn in goods for wool, the wool will give you better goods, and if you get a dragon egg, then you win! And there are some items that you get from wool that are one-time use, like the sheep that you can spawn in, and items will restock in between parts, which they have restocked, and now we just gotta go over here. This stuff right here is actually new. 1,000 wools for the dragon egg, which you win sheepcraft once you get that. 30 wool is for the egg room key. That's something brand new as well. I'll have to show you later. 50 wools for the sheep king spawn egg. 5 wool to dye him pink. All this stuff here is stuff you can turn into receive wool. A docile mob drop is 2 wool. A hostile mob drop, common, is 5 wool. A rare hostile mob drop is 15 wool. A random material is 3 wool. Anything pink is 20 wool. Anything purple is 10 wool. This one's new here. Anything magenta is 15 wool. Another star will give you 500 wool. Over here, a stick will give you 1 wool. One coal will give you 5 wool. An iron ingot will give you 10 wool. A gold ingot will give you 15. Redstone or lapis will give you 10. A sponge will give you 100. One cobblestone will give you 2 wool. And one diamond will give you 50 wool. So we're gonna get a lot of wool from this if you couldn't tell. This is stuff that you can get by turning in wool. One wool will give you raw food. Five wool will give you cooked food. Five hundred wool will give you an eye of ender. A hundred wool will give me a rainbow sheep. A hundred wool will for an upside down sheep. Ten wool for five arrows or two other arrows. Two hundred wool for a tone of undying. Ten wool for a wooden or leather tool. Twenty wool for a gold tool. Thirty wool for a stone chain or other tool. 40 wool for an iron tool, 50 wool for a diamond tool, 25 wool for a bow and 20 arrows, 20 wool for a shield, and that's about it. This is where we put the wool in to receive our goods. This is where we get our wool. And this is where we turn in our goods to get wool. Yeah, let's just get started then. Our goods. First, let's turn in four coal. Was coal this sit here? Yes, for five wool. And we turned in four wool. So that is 20 wool we get from that coal. There we go, that's our first 20 wool. 
Nice. For all of our iron, this is gonna require some big maths. Good thing I have a calculator so I don't have to use my brain, which is good. I don't like using my brain. But don't tell the sheep kill that. He'll make fun of me. Anyway, our iron. One iron ingot is worth 10 wool each. Here's all our iron. We have one stack, two stacks, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven stacks of iron. Plus 34. That is 482 iron ingots. And that will give us 4,820 wool. I think it's already more than enough to beat the game. Do we even have that much in the chest? I don't know. No, we do not. Well, I guess I have to go into creative mode to get myself all that wool. But for now, let's figure out how much wool we actually get. So far with the iron and the coal, we have 4,840 wool to get. And there's only more from there. Let me close these so I don't get jumped. That would be pretty bad. Actually, I want to sleep. This entire episode might just be me going through all the wool and stuff. It's ridiculous. What else am I going to turn in? The diamonds? That's 11 diamonds. One diamond gives us 50 wool. 50 times 11. That's 550. So now we have 5,390 wool. That is absurd. I, I didn't really count for me getting this much iron while doing the sheep craft series. But that cave was just utterly ridiculous. I'm only gonna turn in the gold and the lapis now. I don't need to turn in anything else. That's 69 gold. Nice. And that would give us... Now we have 6,425 wool, and we still haven't accounted for the lapis. Well, if we count for the lapis... Lapis is worth 10 wool each, and we have 29 lapis. Quick maths is going on here. 6,715! That is how much wool we will receive for turning all that stuff in. Well... I guess we're getting more than just the dragon egg and the key required to get it. So I guess now I'll cut away and get myself all this wool. I'm gonna cut away because I'll have to go into creative mode for it, obviously. So I'll see you guys once we have all the wool we need. <music> Alright, I'm back. That took a while, but we finally got it done. And this is all the wool that I received. Not just that, but also this. <laughs> That's way too much wool, but now we can buy whatever we want with it. Now over here, for 50 wool, we can get the Sheep King. And for five extra wool, we can dye in pink, so we're gonna do that. Here we are, this is our 55 wool. Let's put it in here. Then we can get this stuff from downstairs, and while we're downstairs, I can show off what is new as well. First of all, this shulker box. This is where the dragon egg, the sheep king, pink dye, and the egg room key are. And now that we spent 55 wool, we can get this stuff. And with how much wool I have, I can basically buy everything now. But there we go. We got a version of me. Now let's go back upstairs. Oh, actually, first. This is new. The egg room. We place the dragon egg on that pedestal, right there, and we win. That's the end of Sheepcraft. And yeah, it turns out that Sheepcraft is only gonna last two episodes. I thought it'd be a lot bigger, but I guess there were some flaws in my system. Now if I ever revisit this concept, or if any of you want to replicate it, there is some changes I would make. First of all, make the rewards for certain things lower. 50 wool for diamonds is ridiculous. 10 wool for iron is kind of absurd as well with how much iron you can get just from exploring one cave. And also, make the requirements for stuff higher, I'd say. 5 for wool for iron is probably fine as long as the other stuff is lower, but make the dragon egg probably 10,000 instead so you can't just win cheap craft in two episodes. I mean, it would have been longer if I had all that mining on screen, but... Oh well, it would have been three episodes at that point. Wow, one episode difference. But yes, now I want to buy the two sheep, the rainbow sheep and the upside down sheep. That's 200 wool. We wouldn't normally get our wool from here, but since there's so much, I gotta get it from here instead. And 200 wool. Man, I gotta do even more math. I thought I was done with math. But now I gotta do more. Maybe you, maybe uh, all of you probably wouldn't want to do this concept because it requires math and who likes math? But we gotta get three stacks plus eight more. So I'll just grab those three stacks. There's four. And steal four from here. Well, we're not really stealing. We earned all this wool. Sorry about that. I was rudely interrupted. But now, let's finish this. There we are. There's all our wool. And now with that, we can get the two sheep. The rainbow sheep and the upside down sheep. And we'll get those from down here. Oh, what are you doing? He's trying to go upstairs, but he can't fit. Well, that's because it's not the real me. Anyway, here's the two sheep. Jeb and Dinnerbone. We can spawn them in here as well. Here's Jeb. We got the rainbow sheep. 
and now dinner bone as well. There's no real reason to get these, but they're still pretty cool. Oh yeah, we could get the key, as well as the dragon egg. 1,000 wool is for the dragon egg, and then 30 is for the key. First, let's just take 30 for the key. There we are. And now we can go down here, take the key, and then use the key. There it is, the egg room key! You can't just cheat by using another lever, you have to use this one. And here it is, place dragon egg here to win Sheepcraft! I just now realized, some of you might be wondering why there was such a huge gap in between episodes. And well that is because... I had- I didn't have access to the Sheep Cure's computer. That whole time. I was either busy with my own life, or I was... Recording videos with him. Like the creative series, or he just wouldn't let me use his stuff. Like he's been home a lot lately, but now he's finally gone, so I can finally record a video. Why don't I get my own computer, you ask? Why are you asking that? Don't question me, the great the sheep king. Fifteen stacks plus forty is what we need for one thousand more to get the dragon egg. So let's take all that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then here's 30, and then there's 10 more from here. There we go. That's all the one we need for our dragon egg. Soon the shulker box will be full, and I guess I'll keep buying stuff until the shulker box gets full. It was emptied off screen as well, just like the other stuff was filled, but yeah, the shulker box is going to get full, even though I emptied it off screen. Here's the dragon egg. We'll just take that. We're not gonna put it there for now. Cause I'm gonna end the video, like, basically right after I put the dragon egg down. So let's see what else we could buy first. How much more room do we have in here? I only get myself a full set of diamond armor. A diamond tool costs 50 wool. So that'll be 150 wool. Two stacks plus 22 is what we need for a full set of diamond armor. There we go. This is basically just showing even more how the system works, but in bigger numbers than in part one. All right, I got my diamond armor. And now we're gonna get three stacks plus 58 wool to get ourselves a total of undying plus a diamond sword. So there we go. One more. There we go. We earned a whole bunch of wool, but we're not gonna get to spend much of it. I mean, there's not really anything else I can spend it on after all. Yeah, we could spend like 50 more wool. We could get another diamond tool, a diamond pickaxe. There we go. Let's get 50 more wool, and there's 50. Is there anything that costs one wool? Because if that's the case, then... We can fill this up completely. Oh yeah, raw food. There we go. Let's just take one wall from here, and we'll get a piece of raw food, because why not? There we go, the shulker box is completely filled. I could clear it out and then buy more, but there's not really anything else worth buying. Where we get ourselves a ton of undying, a diamond sword, a diamond pickaxe, and a piece of raw food. So let's go for that then. If I could get down... There we go. And... Raw food. Everything except mutton, just like I like it. Let's get some beef. And then we had a total of undying. There we go. And then after that we just had our diamond sword and our diamond pickaxe. There we go, diamond sword. Diamond pickaxe. And now let's just put our dragon egg here. And we're about to beat Sheepcraft, folks. Down here. I can't believe it, it took a whole two episodes, such a long time! But here it is, place Dragon Egg here to win Sheepcraft! And there it is! We won! We beat Sheepcraft a lot sooner than I expected! I'd have to submit my speedrun to... whatever the speedrun site is called? I think it was a pretty short speedrun, world record! But there we go! That's it! Now we can sleep, and there's not anything else to do! here in the Sheepcraft world. So I guess that's gonna do it for this episode and this series, very short series. Is that a record for shortest series between both me and the Sheep Killer? Probably. But anyway, yeah, that's gonna be it. And I suppose I could start another series in the future. And I can also start making more videos once again. Hopefully I get more opportunities to hack into the Sheep Killer's computer and Minecraft account so that we can do more of this stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna try to tackle more games. That's gonna be it for now. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, my fellow sheeps, and not losers. Yeah.